Hi, I'm Robin Gary from the Doherty Arts Center. Welcome to Start and Maintain Your Creative Momentum, a six video series. Each video is a lesson that will help you improve your creative productivity. You'll develop a personal resource center, define your artistic goals, develop routine and planning and accountability, we're going to help you practice your routine. We want to be sure you get this done. We will develop feedback process and guides to the next steps. Our first lesson puts resources in place to improve your momentum. Decisions will need to be made. Decisions are hard sometimes and resources of information are what we use to make them. The important decisions to help us move forward are listed here. Essentially, we have goals, how we will set up our dedicated space to work, our deadlines, quality and accountability, and the ever existential question, what will we do with the pieces that we've made after we're finished? This is a daunting decision list. In order to make it an ordinary list that doesn't fill us with dread, we need information. A personal resource center is a gathering of information and sources that will help us make these decisions. It's a toolbox of information, inspiration, and momentum catalysts. These resources will help us with creative reflection, establishing your workspace, helping you actually do your job. It'll guide you when you need to learn. It'll help you with marketing and self-care. What's in a personal resource center? My top three are journals, planner, and books. And you can see why I do use journals for ideas and reflection and accountability. Planner I use to keep me honest and on track. And books are my primary source of learning and inspiration. Other resources are important too. Websites, podcasts, classes, Peer groups really do help. Mentoring, another great uh, resource. Your workspace and motivational sources like idea boards. I love having idea boards. I also love looking at art and listening to music. In order to pull yours together, you're gonna start with just a few. Maybe visual inspiration, writing and planning tools, and reading. And you pull this together using social media, libraries, museums. These all have online aspects as well, peer groups, and maybe friend recommendations. Right now, this is a long list of my current resources. This list came about in no small part as a result of a conscious decision I made to make what I want to make. I have found myself easily distracted by learning, teaching, and maintaining the studio. I needed to turn this around. I needed the, to be able to focus on getting my creative work done, not squeezing it in between these activities. Now it's your turn. In order to move forward, start pulling together your resources with an eye on focusing your goals, planning your time, and ensuring you have got a place to work. I hope you join us again for the second installment in the series when we use your personal resource center to focus on your goals, whether short term or long term. Thank you for watching. You can find more from the Doherty Art Center on this page.